Welcome to The Cooking Show with Annette. Thank you for joining me today. This show will give you some basic information about nutrition, cooking, and making informed decisions about what you put into your body. March is the National Nutrition Month, which is dedicated to educating and informing individuals about nutrition and bringing awareness to your overall well-being. This show will hopefully make you conscious about choosing the right food for you and your family. Did you know that the average dinner from a chain restaurant costs nearly $35 a person and can contain over 1,200 calories? It is estimated that 64.5% of Americans are overweight according to the Mayo Clinic. Being overweight can lead to coronary heart disease, congestive heart failure, high cholesterol, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and so much more. By making choices for healthier eating, these diseases are preventable. It is not about being on a diet. It's about making a lifelong plan to be healthy. Focusing on the big picture is important to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. A great website to check out is choosemyplate.gov for a plan that will give you the amounts of each food group you need daily. I'm sure you've heard it before, but breakfast is the most important meal of the day. A few tricks to power up your breakfast include Make instant oatmeal with milk instead of water. Mix in raisins or dried cranberries. Top with chopped walnuts. Layer low-fat yogurt with your favorite crunchy cereal and sliced fruit or berries. Mix up a breakfast smoothie made with low-fat milk, frozen strawberries, and a banana. Top a bowl of whole grain cereal with blueberries, sliced peaches, or any favorite fruit. Pour on low-fat or fat-free milk. Tap a toaster waffle with low-fat yogurt and fruit. Stuff a whole wheat pita with a sliced, hard-cooked egg and low-fat shredded cheese. Spread a flour tortilla with peanut butter, add a whole banana, and roll it up. Spread almond butter on a whole grain toasted bagel. Top with apple slices. Add lean ham and low-fat Swiss cheese to a toasted whole grain English muffin. Today we'll be looking at some healthy alternatives for some of our favorite restaurants. This French toast stuffed with strawberries is a great alternative to IHOP stuffed French toast with strawberry topping. IHOP's version is 1,180 calories compared to our version, which is only 370 calories with only 12 grams of fat. By making your own healthy version of French toast stuffed with strawberries, you are saving 810 calories. It's important to include snacks as part of your daily calorie allowance and limit portions to one serving. Think of snacks as being mini meals that will help you with hunger. Snack only if you are hungry. If you plan snacks, it will help prevent the in-between meal hunger. Skip the urge to nibble on food when you are bored, frustrated, or stressed. Instead, go for a walk or play with your children. Keep portable, healthy snacks in your desk, backpack, purse, or car. Some things that are good to help with hunger include almonds, carrots, an apple, or yogurt. Here are some snacks with 200 calories or less. One tablespoon peanut butter spread on slices of a medium apple, one cup tomato soup with five whole grain crackers, three cups air popped popcorn sprinkled with three tablespoons grated Parmesan cheese, veggie snack with reduced fat ranch dressing for dipping, small baked potato topped with salsa and one ounce low fat cheese, six whole wheat crackers and one slice low fat Colby cheese, one six inch flour tortilla with a quarter cup black bean and two tablespoons fresh salsa, and a quick to fix salad. A small salad with some mandarin oranges and almonds, one four ounce fat free ready to eat vanilla pudding with half a cup of fresh fruit and five vanilla wafers, veggie pizzas, split whole wheat English muffin, top with two tablespoons low fat cream cheese, half cup diced fresh veggies, and one ounce low fat mozzarella cheese. Cinnamon raisin mini bagel spread with one tablespoon peanut butter. Hot chocolate made with low fat or fat free milk and a small oatmeal cookie. Whole grain toaster waffle with one and a half tablespoons chocolate flavored hazelnut spread. Banana split banana sliced lengthwise topped with half cup frozen yogurt and a tablespoon chopped nuts. A healthy snack that can be an alternative to the California Pizza Kitchen's Tuscan hummus is this homemade hummus with whole wheat pitas. California Pizza Kitchen's Tuscan hummus has 861 calories with 
1,562 milligrams of sodium. While the homemade hummus has only 210 calories, 9 grams of fat, and 460 milligrams of sodium. This healthy lunch alternative to Red Robin's Apple Harvest Chicken Salad with 812 calories, 44 grams of fat, and 1,769 milligrams of sodium is a fig and prosciutto salad with only 230 calories, 12 grams of fat, and 690 milligrams of sodium. This salad has a burst of sweetness and savory goodness, which is similar to the Red Robin's Apple Harvest Chicken Salad with about 582 less calories. For our main recipe, we will be making a buffalo chicken and blue cheese sandwich that only has 367 calories, 15 grams of fat, and 912 milligrams of sodium, which is compared to Chili's Buffalo Chicken Ranch Sandwich, which contains 1,560 calories, 86 grams of fat, and 4,010 milligrams of sodium. In order to make this, you will need four chicken breasts, a quarter cup crumbled blue cheese, four buns toasted, four large romaine lettuce leaves, two tablespoons of butter melted in the microwave for 20 seconds, one red onion sliced, three tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce, I'll be using Frank's red hot sauce, salt and pepper to taste, a half a tablespoon of chili powder, a half a lemon juiced, and a half a cup of Greek style yogurt. We will start by preheating the grill pan on a high heat or you can use a grill. While it's heating up, we're going to combine the quarter cup of blue cheese, the half cup of Greek yogurt, let's make sure, the half of the lemon juice that was juiced before, a pinch of salt and pepper. And then just mix that up. We're also going to make the hot sauce that we're gonna be putting on our cooked chicken later by combining three tablespoons of Frank's Red Hot Sauce to two tablespoons of melted butter. And then just mix it up. And set it off to the side for later. Next, we want to season the chicken breasts by sprinkling the chicken with some salt, pepper, and chili powder. Just make sure it's all seasoned. Once we are done, we are going to add the chicken to the hot grill pan or grill and cook for four to five minutes on each side. If you are using a grill, you can add the onions to the perimeter of the grill. If using a grill pan like me today, you'll need to wait until you remove the chicken to grill the onions. We are going to cook the chicken until firm and springy to touch. It's usually taking about four to five minutes on each side. Now we're gonna just take one of these chicken pieces that we just grilled, place it in our hot sauce. You wanna coat it a little bit to get that sauce on there. And this is just the Frank's Red Hot Sauce with butter, melted butter. You wanna put some lettuce on the bun. Put this chicken on there. Put some of the grilled onions on there. And then put our blue cheese dressing on top that we made earlier. And then tap it with the other side of the bun. And there you go. There's your chicken sandwich. This meal just saved you 1,173 calories. Finally, here's a healthy yet delicious dessert that is easy to make and a great alternative to IHOP's Nutella crepes, saving you 730 calories. Our version of the crepe only has 260 calories, 
12 grams of fat, and 18 grams of sugar. You can find all the following recipes by going to